when I did my last video, I mentioned that I'd like seasons in the game. Well, I thought we'd have to buy a new game to get that feature, but someone's done a mod that actually puts it in the game. Uh, this is going to be a, a quick run through of how to work this mod on the Xbox. Mod designers recommend that you start a new game, but you can use one of your old games, but when you, when you start up, it'll just reset all the growth. So to get your mod working, and forgive me, I'm gonna just dumb it right down because some people might not have played it. Judging by some of the uh, views on my reviews, a lot of people are still thinking about buying this game. So do it by the numbers. You select your map uh, and then Go to your mod selection screen and then make sure that the seasons is ticked. And there's also geo mods like Wales or Scandinavia or Norway, whatever it is. And if you tick if you tick that along with the seasons mod, then you would say, for argument's sake, get the weather for Norway rather than the one that's standard with the seasons. You don't have to put the geo mods on. Seasons just will play without any geo mods so don't think that you need that you don't and then when your game loads it'll either give you a message that it's reset all the growth if you've loaded an old save game or it'll start immediately giving you uh help this is going to be fairly xbox specific but it'll probably work for ps4 uh seasons has got its own menu which is in game uh, and you access it by pressing the left and right bumper on the Xbox and then you come up with the seasons menu which has got different tabs on it each each section of it uh, is modifiable in one way or another and it just gives you a little description of what each bit does but it changes the economy uh, and it changes when you can plant and when you can harvest it's it's pretty amazing it it totally changes the game completely changes the game uh it just looks fantastic it also changes the way that the vehicles uh are going to need maintaining they can actually break down now uh and not in the help box in the top left hand corner it gives you how many hours it's got uh but it does actually include a time span on it which is always one game year and it's always going to need uh, servicing and all you do to service your vehicle by the way is you just drive it to the workshop and where you would normally sell it you park it in there and you now have an option to repair it basically and it costs you uh, whatever but all these menus I'm, I'm sure you're going to work them out for yourself uh, there's only really one one thing that I find unusual and it's a good addition to the game but it's not that obvious and it's a little testing tool that you buy and you enable it like you would the chainsaw it, it's up on the d-pad if you if you're new to this and it tells you what the soil state is or the state of the tree growth and it also gives you moisture levels and, and other information like fertilizing and how much stuff's actually grown and the percentage which is very handy for trees because you never really know how much they've grown if you've planted them so that's a really good addition it also adds a bit more interest to it and you can also set the game now to to play a bit more realistically if you want by having more fertilizer states in your fields so i did a little test i started with this this field uh, i cultivated a little bit of it and then i went over it with the uh, fertilizer so it's been fertilised and then I uh, I seeded it and then I fertilised it again and then I, I tested it in uh, in several different areas uh, to see what the fertiliser state was and the growth rate but this time of year nothing grows so there, there won't be a growth rate because uh, that's how the mod makes it nothing will grow at this time of year but you can plant it and you also get a, a handy weather forecast as well. That's uh, that's good. And it does snow in the game as well. And if you've selected Wales, it rains a lot. Also, in the options before I started the game, I set the the help boxes to be a lot bigger. You can make them smaller uh, in your in your main menu before you load the game. 
and that does make a difference but I wanted you to see it on the video without having to zoom in all the time so what you just saw was a reading after I'd uh, I'd fertilized it and then uh, cultivated it so it gave you a 33% fertilizer reading now I've seeded it and I've just fertilized just that end again that you can see there it's quite easy to see where you've done and when I test it again you'll you'll see that it's up to 60 plus percent so it's two-thirds fertilized so there's one fertilization ready to do again uh, when it's grown a bit more so that that's what the tool does it's very good anyway then we wait patiently for it to grow and uh, that's something gamers don't do innit patience you need patience with this game it's like real work Anyway, you can then use your little tool just to, to see how it's grown and how much fertiliser's left. It's rained quite a lot, hasn't it? Oh, and the other thing that I've forgotten to mention is that the times of day, or rather the, the amount of daylight changes as per season, like it does in reality. Now, they've pretty much cracked it. I, I really like this mod. Uh, I hope it gets fully included in the full game when they do another version of it with all the other improvements I'd like to see which is the the physics and the uh, the way the economy works I'd like that to be a lot better and more more records kept on your economy but I mean as it stands it's a really good mod and I'm very pleased with it and I hope this has been of some help to uh, to somebody uh, Thanks for watching. Oh, and quite amazingly, uh, these these snow tracks you can see getting left by this tractor. I've been up and down this field for about, oh, I don't know, three miles, and it's still leaving tracks. So I don't know how long you can you can do it for. I'm not willing to <laughs> to try it any more than that. But I think three miles of tracks is quite good going. Uh, bye.